hello welcome and let's get started with a very new brand course of CSS CSS means cascading style sheets and our question in this particular time is why CSS is create, was created and why is it necessary? Now throughout this course, we shall be see, discussing about all that. For example, in 1990s, the website was default of CSS. The developers of then used the HTML tags, for example, the Ford tags, to change the font size of the of the Ford or of the words. They also used the HTML attribute to change the color of the words or of the folds and as we saw they also used the tables for laying out for example we use the tables to lay out the the paragraphs and the image and the actually and the uh, 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 headings Side by side. We used actually uh, we we actually used the tables, and it was very very hard. It was a lot of codes and and the banking so much things, and there was a lot of code to just to just do very simple thing. So that was hassle. That nine nine uh, nine developers were to to pass through but today we are going to use the cascading style sheet for that to work therefore the cascading style sheet is a tool that is used to displaying the or to actually to, to display the website the way you want to beautify the website to structure our website the way we want. For example, we shall cut much hassle and banks that may be created by large code of uh, HTML by just using CSS and structure our HTML in very simple way using CSS and bring out our website from 1990s to present day time by styling it using CSS. Now, when we look at a very basic example, when we look at the, the real uh, thing, when we do a uh, construction of an house, we first use bricks, bricks for building the house. Then we go next and we use the, the ink paint for painting and using different colors to paint the house, making it beautiful. And then we can also go further to electrify, to, 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 to make wire, to, to, to extend the wiring and also making the uh, the wires uh, connect with the bulb and with switching on and switching off for the light. That is a behavior which is brought about and that is just next after the CSS where we shall be discussing about the JavaScript. Now with that, I want to welcome everyone to this course and learn all what you need to know about the CSS and how to apply it on 
the WEMP development in present current date. Welcome and thank you very much. Let's meet next time and that this beautiful and huge uh, jumbo course of CSS cascading style sheets. Welcome and goodbye. Meet you then.